You can keep going forward. Oh, so we tried the rope and it didn't work. So I think I'm gonna try it with the excavator. I've got a little risk that I will sink it. Len decides to abandon the rope and use the bucket arm of an excavator chained to the cable to haul it up the steep berm. But to get in position, the 55-ton 700 has to cross soft ground. Because you can see the excavator sinking a little bit. OK, Len. Yeah. Yeah, that should do it, Lynn. Beautiful. There you go. Now the winch cable of the dredge is connected to the dozer. It'll be interesting to see if with the winch, if they can pull it off. They got every corner cable hooked up. So if they do it right, you should pull right out of there. Look how nice the thing flows out of that perfectly. I think if I go forwards, we got it. That looks good. Yeah, good. She's clear and you're floating. So pull. There you go. The whole thing is floating. Boy, that was sure nice to get up that gangplank. Yes, sir. All right? That's been a long yeah. time coming, you know that? Yep. Good. So you guys want to fire it up and make the thing work? Should we need a uh, bottle of champagne? And well, then... you know, the way this summer been going, I don't know if the old lady's going to go for that. <laughs> yeah. We may have to cut the champagne out, fill that bottle with uh, orange juice or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to fire this thing up, let it rip. I'm so excited I could just <laughs> piss my pants. <laughs> So I'm going to start up the trommel. There we go. Perfect. Stacker coming on. All right. Stacker's running. There we go. We got some water coming. OK, here comes the bucket line. After five years, Tony's dredge is finally catching much-needed gold once again. There's your first dirt in the bucket. We got it going. It's okay. good. Perfect. That looks pretty awesome, if you ask me. It's been a long time coming. It's nice to see it run again. Beautiful system. <laughs>